day 19. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it. Day 19, that means that there are only two days left of this listing challenge. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Macy and I am a full-time reseller and on this channel, I put out reselling content to help you succeed at your reselling business. So if that sounds like something that interests you, hit subscribe down below and tap that notification bell so that you know next time I put out a new video. Today, like usual, I have a haul for you guys, but this one is just a mishmash of all sorts of stuff. I have some consignment items here. I have some items from a Goodwill that I got probably like two months ago. I have some personal items of my own, so all sorts of stuff. And I'll tell you guys what came from where along the way. And then after I show you guys what I have to list today, I have what sold from Sunday, May 16th. It's hard to believe we're almost through this challenge. I mean, I'm kind of glad because it's been a lot. <laughs> this is a lot of listings to try to put up every day and I've kind of winded down to like every other day at this point, but I'm trying my best. There's so much clothes, you don't even know. There's like piles of clothes over here that I haven't inventoried yet because I've just been cutting corners whenever I could to get the listings up. Like sometimes I won't complete descriptions, sometimes I won't inventory my items, sometimes I don't take measurements. Like it seems like every time I list 20 items there's something that I don't do that I should be doing because it just takes so long. <laughs> I haven't streamlined my process enough to have it be something that doesn't take me all day. Anyways, let's get into the items. This is a the Nike T and it is just a little polka dot. Uh, muscle tee, pink with black polka dots, and it says Nike on the front there. Um, it does have a little bit of staining kind of going on at the armpits. Uh, so I'm going to note that in the description and it'll probably go for, I don't know, around $10. These first few items are the last of the consignment haul from the other day. This is a Monteo size extra small and it is a very cute little black fringe crochet hem crop top it has uh cute buttons at the back i'm uh, not expecting a ton for this guy either just like once again ten dollars maybe this is a champion and it is just a little striped racerback athletic top if you find sweatshirts by Champion with the C, sometimes those can go for a lot, but athletic tops, not very much at all. This is a BCG. I don't even know where this is sold. Size small. It is a blue with pink trim, little racer back. Once again, athletic top. And the last of the consignment haul items is an Everly little textured uh, crop top. This is super cute. I really like colorful floral patterns like this. I think they're really fun. Everly, I'm not sure where it's sold. If you know where Everly is sold, let me know down below. Uh, sometimes I can do okay with it. They have really cute stuff, but most of the time it just doesn't go for that much resale. Here we got an American Eagle Outfitters. They are the high rise jegging style and they are a size two. They have some green paint or some sort of stain going on there at the bottom, which will probably affect the value pretty heavily. So I, plus it also has a little bit of wear on the back there. You can see by the seam. So these probably won't go for much, maybe um, 10 to $15 because of the flaws, but otherwise they're, a nice pair of jeans and I love selling high-rise jeggings. Ah, oh, shoot. So we're into items that I picked up from a thrift store a while ago and I'm pretty sure I paid full price for those. So I paid $6.99 for a pair of flawed American Eagle jeans, which is not something that you want to do. <laughs> Try not to do that. <laughs> Look over your items. Obviously, if you've watched enough of these videos, you know that I miss a lot of flaws because I'm just going fast and I'm seeing things that I know that I want to pick up and then I just don't look them over well enough and then you're stuck listing something that you're not going to get very much profit for because you paid up for it. Here we got an Express. They 
are a size zero, the legging high rise perfect denim jeans. I love selling high rise legging jeans from Express. They usually do pretty well regardless of size, but of course the bigger sizes do even better. And these are in great shape. So I think I'll be able to get around 20 to 25 for those. <laughs> these are funny. American Eagle Outfitters, obviously pretty old uh, writing there. But that's because these are from 2012, but they are still new with tags. So there's the tag there, there's a tag on the waistband there. And these are the artist style in a size four. And they're in great shape, <laughs> obviously, new with tags. Nice dark wash with the bell bottom flare. And I heard from somebody that artist style uh, resells pretty well just because they don't make it anymore and some people love their artist style American Eagle jeans so since there aren't as many of them available anymore um, the resale value has actually gone up for this style so I'm really curious to see how a pair of new with tags <laughs> from 2012 uh, American Eagle artist jeans do. I know I used to wear the artist style all the time. In 2012 I was in college so yeah I definitely had a few pairs of these myself and absolutely love them. I like the little bit of metallic going on at the back po pocket embroidery. Apparently boot cut and flare legs are back in style so I really think these will do well. The only thing it has going against it is it's not a larger size. Here we got a pair of Old Navy the Rockstar jeans. The Rockstar style is one of the only styles of old navy jeans I will pick up even for a dollar, which is how much these ones cost. It's usually distressed. It's like a skinny leg. They're just pretty nice jeans. These ones are a size four. Would be better if they were a bigger size, but I think that they will go for around $20. These are J. Jill and they are the Wherever Collection Smooth Fit Full Leg uh, pair of pants. Navy blue stretchy lounge pants or just casual everyday pants, I guess. I like picking up the Wherever Collection from J. Jill because I've had a few pieces from it before and they've all done decently. The problem with this particular pair of pants is that there's this weird something going on at the back of the leg there. I'm gonna try washing them to see if that helps get rid of whatever that is. So I don't know how much that'll affect the value. I'm a little worried about them being a size extra small. I don't think I've ever tried selling a size extra small in J. Jill. I'm not even sure I knew that they sold size extra small. So yeah, I gotta wash these and see if I can get out that flaw. This is another item I have to wash. There's a few items <laughs> in this Haul that I have to wash actually. This is a pair of Loft Marissa dress pants. The Marissa style is a good style of Loft dress pants to pick up if you find it for really cheap. So I only paid a dollar for these but there is staining going on around the inside waistband which doesn't look great and honestly I don't even want to sell them if that staining won't come out because it looks just kind of gross. Even though the rest of the pants are in pretty good shape, it's just... I don't like selling really crappy things. <laughs> and like, if you got a pair of dress pants and you see the insides all stained up, it's just not... it's not what I'm going for with my closet. So I couldn't really see that in this store. That's why I never pick up white stuff. Well, never is a strong word, but I rarely pick up white stuff because it's so hard to see stains in the Goodwill stores on white items. I don't really know why, it's just like in the lighting there is, it makes it really hard to see and whenever I get it home and under all these bright lights, it's like so clear to me, all the flaws. I'm like, no. All right, this should be the last item that I need to wash. <laughs> that was it for the Goodwill items. Now we are into consignment items again. These I just got the other day. My friend dropped them off on my porch. So love it. <laughs> love just having inventory delivered to me personally. It's always really fun. All I have to do is get the items up for sale and there you go. Making money for this person, making money for me. 
Easy peasy. These are, guess, the Daredevil boot. These are pretty old. They're size 27 and yeah. These guys look like they've been around for a little while now. A little bit of light distressing and they have a couple of stains that I wanna try to get out. There's like, there's a little bit going on here. There's quite a bit going on near the back tag that I really, that's the concerning area right here. Cause that's like, you can see that pretty clearly. And there's just a little bit down here. So I'm gonna use some whip it. Here it is. I've been using this on all the items that I get that are stained. And sometimes it does a really good job at getting out the stains. Sometimes it doesn't work, but what can you do? Not all stains can actually be removed. I don't think, I haven't found anything that works on every stain, but this does a really good job for a lot of stains. Like if it can come out, this thing will probably take it out. The amazing whip it. I'll put an Amazon affiliate link in my description if you want to give it a try. I learned this from my friend Chelsea, who learned it from her grandma, I think. <laughs> so just keep on passing on the, uh, the stain removal knowledge to whoever needs it next. <laughs> Pay it forward. This is an H&M size 8. They are black, shiny, shimmer, um, just skinny pants. Not expecting to get a ton out of these guys, but they are in good condition and they're pretty fun. So shooting for 10 to 15. Here we got a pair of Miss Me jeans in the sunny skinny style, size 29. This has a little bit of purple staining going on right there at the inner thigh. I'm just gonna disclose that. I don't think it'll come out Maybe I'll try to get it out. I don't know. But I do like selling Miss Me jeans. I usually can get pretty decent prices for them. I tend to price them up pretty high and then just accept uh, whenever a good offer comes along. Here we got another pair of Miss Me jeans. These are even better. These are a pair of boot cut jeans in size 27. And I just love the wash on these. They look really nice. They photograph really well. They have tons of embellishments on the pockets, which is what you want to see in a pair of Miss Me jeans for sure. Whenever you find them in a thrift store, check to see if they have all the rivets because sometimes the tag is missing a bunch of them. And that's a flaw that you would need to disclose in the description. These jeans just have a little bit of wear at the back of the leg. Otherwise, they are in great shape as far as I can tell. Uh, these ones will probably go for more than the other pair. Shooting for more like 45 to 50 on these. Next we have a new with tags, Victoria's Secret, size large, and it is a jumpsuit. Oops, kind of hard, kind of hard to show you guys. <laughs> uh, but it does have crisscross back straps, spaghetti straps, and a little bit of ruffle going on. Faux wrap neckline, and it's very lightweight satin type material, wide leg. This is just gonna be a really pretty jumpsuit to wear for sure. I'm not sure if it's lingerie, it's like a lingerie jumpsuit or what. Tag says originally $79.50. I'm gonna start it out at 50 and it'll probably go for somewhere around 40. Here we got a pair of Lucky Brand jeans. These are the Lola boot cut and they are in really good shape, but the Lola boot style jeans do not go for a lot. I'm expecting only like $20 on these ones. They are in really good shape and they're only a size four. If they were a bigger size, I might be able to get a little bit more out of them. Always look up the style whenever it comes to Lucky Brand jeans because some of them sit forever and don't sell for more than 12 bucks. And then some of them go for like 40. So always look up the style. It's very important whenever it comes to Lucky Brand. This one is another thrifted item. This is not from the consignment items. That was the last of the consignment items. This is a really exciting item though, because it is an REI, which is an outdoorsy company. And this is a pair of convertible hiking pants. Yes, this is exactly what you wanna be selling right now. People are looking for hiking stuff out the wazoo. 
So convertible pants are ones that have a zipper at the knee that you can go ahead and unzip on both legs to convert them into capris or shorts. Sometimes it converts them into shorts. And these are a really good size at a size eight. If they were a little bit bigger of a size, I would be selling these to my friend because she told me to look out for a pair of hiking pants for her. I'm telling you guys, people are looking for them. They want them. Now is the season for the hiking gear. Okay, now on to the two personal items and that'll be it for the items that I have to list today. These are a pair of Happy X Nature and they are new with tags, originally $98. These are the Ultra High Rise Seamed Boyfriend Jeans in a size 25. And this is a really good style to sell right now. Ultra high rise is definitely a popular thing. Um, kind of loose fitting straight leg pants are a popular thing. More of a relaxed leg like this. These just didn't fit me well otherwise I would be keeping them because I recently bought a crop top that goes really well with these jeans but they just don't. I don't like how they fit me. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to join the loose jeans trend. <laughs> Unless I find one that fits me like absolutely perfectly because I just, I have a lot of skinny jeans. <laughs> I have a lot of jeggings and I like the tight fit look better. I just, I know it's not on trend, but for me personally, I just kind of feel like I'm drowning in jeans like this. But it's what people are looking for, so I'm excited to list these and have someone else enjoy them. I kept the tags on specifically because I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep them. That is a good tip. If ever you buy something for yourself and you try it on and you're just not 100% sure, just leave the tag on. Because if it turns out, you know, many months go by and you never wear it, then you can sell it new with tags. Happy X Nature is a Kate Hudson brand that actually went under this past year and is no longer a thing. So I'm excited to see how these do. And the last item I have to list today is a pink by Victoria's Secret little cross strap front floral lace bra. It is called the date push-up bra and it's really cute and it's in great condition because i never wore it because i'm just not into push-up bras anymore they are uncomfortable <laughs> that is it for the items i have to list today let's talk about my sales from sunday i have six sales to go over with you guys one of them being a super exciting sale i may have teased in the thumbnail so jumping into it the first item that sold on this sunday was a banana republic slow and high-waisted tuxedo stripe pair of pants in a size six they sold on poshmark for 15 dollars, and after poshmark fees i made 12 dollars, and they took only eight days to sell so that was a challenge item and I got them as part of a really large lot of stuff off of a Facebook quarantine group. The person just said these are free with purchase if you want them and I did claim those pants because I figured a pair of slow and high-waisted pants would do well especially with the tuxedo stripe detail. Slow and fit is one of my favorites to pick up from Banana Republic. The next thing to sell was a pair of Express legging mid-rise jeans in its size 12R, great size. They sold on Poshmark for $27, and after Poshmark fees, they made $21.60. They only took five days to sell. Plus an extra win, they only cost me a dollar. People really like their express legging jeans. It doesn't even matter if they're not a high rise. Mid rise sells just as fine as high rise for me. Definitely pick them up, especially if you find them in a larger size and for a good price. Okay, the next time to sell is the most exciting one <laughs> of the week. For sure, this is actually my highest profit sale of the entire week, and it was a consignment item. Wow. It is a Reformation New With Tags White Prairie Short Sleeve Eyelet Midi Dress in a size 8. It sold on eBay for $184.50, and after eBay fees and shipping, I made $151.60. It only took 21 days to sell. This got a ton of attention. Like I said, it was a consignment item. So $108 of the profit went to my consignee 
and after all fees considered, I made $43.60. The funny thing about this sale was that it wasn't even supposed to be listed on eBay that high. This dress was selling on Poshmark for around $100, so that was how much I was shooting for. My virtual assistant cross-lists for me onto eBay, and she uses a price sheet to determine what to list on eBay based on the Poshmark price. And my price sheet didn't even go above $150 because it's so rare for me to list things this expensive. So I listed the item as $180 on Poshmark just because I wanted tons of room to send out offers like above 20%. Like I wanted to be able to send out 30% offers and whatever. And so it was cross-listed to eBay at $180, but typically I would cross-list to eBay at a much lower price than I would list on Poshmark just because I don't leave as much wiggle room on eBay. I don't have best offer on on eBay and so I just don't price up as high on eBay but I just didn't take the time to change it because I'm like ah oh, whatever it's 180 on eBay maybe somebody will buy it and that's exactly what happened. And I wasn't even offering free shipping like there was four dollars and fifty cents of shipping also attached to that 180 price tag. That's how much the person made so that's uh, that's wild to me. Reformation just blows my mind. I just don't retail arbitrage enough to find it and of course I never find it in my thrift stores so it was fun selling a Reformation dress. I'm gonna keep looking for them on flip and try to pick up those lots whenever I find them. The next thing to sell was a Max Studio printed maxi dress in a size small. It sold on Poshmark for $22 and after Poshmark fees I made $17.60 and it only took eight days to sell. Love the fast flips, for sure. And I was surprised that this sold as fast as it did. I mean, it was red, white, and blue, so I was thinking maybe 4th of July it would sell, but apparently people pick up red, white, and blue items for Memorial Day as well, so maybe that's why it sold fairly quickly. Maybe somebody wanted it for Memorial Day. It was a pretty dress, I like the pattern, Maxi dresses always do pretty well for me regardless of the brand, but I thought that was a really good sale and I was expecting it to go for less than $22. The next thing to sell was a Speedo black cutout back one piece swimsuit in a size 16. It sold on Poshmark for $24 and after Poshmark fees I made $19.20. And it took 17 days to sell, so I only paid a dollar for that. Goodwill Dollar Day, I looked it over to make sure that it was in good condition, especially the crotch. It was, it was a good size. Speedo does not command the highest prices, but because this was a good size one piece swimsuit, I listed it a little bit higher and just wanted to see what I could get. And people are shopping for swimsuits right now like crazy, so definitely whenever you find them, pick them up especially if they're a good price and a good size. The last item to sell on this Sunday was a Lululemon black ribbed knit embrace hoodie in a size six. It sold on Poshmark for $60 and after Poshmark fees, I made $48 and it took only 15 days to sell. Wasn't sure if I would be waiting a while on that one because of it just being a thick knit sweater I wasn't sure if I would have to wait until more like fall for it to sell, and I got kind of lucky. I uh, I had this price pretty high, I think I had it $87, and then I typically only accept offers 20% less than my listing price, um, so I really had to think about this offer in particular, this $60 offer, but the thing was that this particular style of Lululemon hoodie was not selling for $60 on Poshmark. Most of them were selling for closer to 45 maybe a little bit higher. So 60 was actually a really good price even though it was a good bit less than my asking price. So after looking at that I did go ahead and accept that $60 offer because I'm like that's actually a really good offer. <laughs> I paid full price for that hoodie at $6.99 at my local Goodwill and it was a very exciting day for me whenever I found that hoodie and another Lulu Lemon hoodie in the same clothing jacket rack at the same Goodwill. I was like, this is the best day ever. <laughs> okay, that is it for my sales. 
Thank you so much everybody for following along with this listing challenge and for watching the whole video. You are so sweet. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like down below. It really helps my channel. And if you haven't already and you would like to, feel free to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know next time I put out a new video. If you are participating in the listing challenge along with me, go get your listings up if you haven't yet. And I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Bye.